Good afternoon, Lace Jumpin. I'm John. This is many a true dodge. Welcome back to Starfield. Where last time, we cracked the first cavalry conspiracy, murdered Ron Hope, and as a result of that, I was made a full member of the Free Star Rangers. For example, we've got ourselves a lovely jacket here that comes with a star on the arm, so everybody knows I'm a ranger, but even better than that. Oh, bloody hell. Do we have a much better ship now? So much more shielding, so much more speed. Oh, I am looking forward to seeing her in action. Anyway, let's focus on what we're doing today because, uh, yes, I noticed something rather interesting, which is uh, Vladimir's been a bit quiet of late. I've not been told about any new temples any time recently, and uh, if I recall correctly, the last time he did tell me about a temple was just after I did a mission for Constellation, so... Uh, Yes, I think possibly, if I go and do this mission for Walter, go to Neon, straight up buy an artifact, that might lead me to unlocking a new magic power. So, okay, we're going to go do that right now, because uh, I think this is going to be a good mission for me. If we're going into, you know, uh, some complex negotiations, etc, etc, I literally have a magic power that lets me know what I ought to say during aforementioned negotiations, so... Uh, I'm turning this on right now, okay? This is going to go so well for me. Oh, and even better. For the very first time... Oh, she is beautiful. She even looks a bit like the dodgy flamingo. She's got the same basic ship shape. I love it. Okay, Walter, sorry to keep you waiting. Let's get over to Neon and make this happen. Though, uh, I'm going to be honest, you didn't actually give me a proper briefing previously. So, uh, right... Um, where are we going? Who are we buying the artifact from? And uh, we better be using your money, right? We're not using my money for this. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. Okay, he's got nothing else to add so far, so I assume, yes, he's going to tell us the plan once we're down on the ground in Neon. Here we go. Down on the ground, Neon is... Oh, it's bloody stunning. I love how Neon looks. Right, Walter. Let's me and you, yes, talk about the plan. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekburn offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. Okay, so step one, he's just got to make sure the money's ready to go, and uh, bare minimum, yes, that does reassure me, we're not using my money for this, which is great news. Okay, fortunately, yes, we already know our way around Neon, so just take her right here, mosey past the shops, past security, past the beautiful giant statue of Neon's king, and straight onto, yes, the elevator over here, same one we took to the Xenofresh office back in the day. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it? is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Okay, lovely to meet you. We're going to be extraordinarily polite. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes, the daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. Okay, there's definitely a hint of condescension in there. She doesn't think he's, yes, using his time particularly well. So, uh, oh, go on, please. Embarrass Walt some more. I love it. I know. It's my favorite hobby. Now, why are you here, my dear? The board meeting isn't for a while, and our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. 
did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? Okay, everything's going to be fine. I'm not going to, like, you know, get involved in their marriage. We are indeed meeting at the Astral Lounge, though, uh, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know that either. I'm pretty sure he didn't say that to me. A remarkably insecure location for a clandestine meeting. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar was motivating them. Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. You know what, Isa? I like you. So, right. What do you need me to get done here? Just to, you know, uh, tip the balance in our favor a bit. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Okay, so we need to, yes, make sure we're properly prepared before we go in. Okay, now that's kind of cool. I like this. Okay, step one, let's scout out the lounge, see what we can do to, yes, make sure security is tight, or alternatively, if security is broken, it's broken in my favour. Also, hilariously, it's been several weeks and my mum and dad are still right here in the drug lounge. Guys, I think you've had enough. Also, before we get into this, John, remember to do the one thing you said you were going to remember to do. Alright, activate magic powers and... Okay, Boone, let's chat. Alright, so here we go. I've got a meeting here. I'm a tiny bit worried about security, buddy. And uh, obviously nothing too dramatic here. He's just going to, you know, reassure me it's a lovely, safe location. The Astral Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. Okay, so... Right, we now know roughly what he's going to say, meaning, uh, okay... In the event I ever have to make a choice, I can see what all of the answers would be. Fascinating. So, okay. Secure meetings. Uh, that's the floor above. Uh, lovely elevators. Uh, control of the doors. Uh, serious fire hazard. Uh, I think it's only fair to warn you that the network security on our door. Right. Security hacking. And security needs to be on my side in the event a fight breaks out. So... Okay, slip him some cash. Security works for me now. Alright, this all seems like an eminently good idea. So, step one, the VIP package. You know what? Four grand and nice and easy. Okay, next up, yes indeed, the door. So, we're definitely going up to the VIP balcony, which I can now do because I've purchased access. But we need to, yes, make sure that we are happy. In the event of trouble, we can get out their security that we've now officially bribed which is lovely then we've got yeah two vip sections and then two more not vip sections so right there's the terminal we can do a bit of hacking in and on top of that we've got ourselves a... okay i found benjamin bayou i feel like he's not going to appreciate me just like you know going up to him in his personal room or whatnot <sighs> yes what is it? Hello there. Lovely to meet you. Like, you know, you own the city. And also, I kind of, like, work for you. Because me and you did that drug deal back in the day. I wouldn't normally bother with idle chatter. But that's such a ridiculous question. I'm going to gift you with a response. I don't own Neon. Neon is the property of Xenofresh Fisheries, of which I just happen to be the CEO and the major majority stakeholder. Now... If you care to take a moment to dissect that statement in your tiny little mind, I'm confident you'll discover the answer to your question. I mean, yes would have been fine too, but whatever. Okay, back to, yes, this area where apparently we have got the computer. Just crack that open nice and quick. 
Here we go. So room number three. Room has been booked by Redacted. See Boone Morgan for scheduling conflicts. And then at remote door control. Okay. Approved hand signals will now allow user to lock door to VIP lounge a total of uh, one time. Okay, step the next off to, yes, the other side of town. Apparently, we now need to speak to the broker, who may be able to help us out with a bit of information about whoever it is we're meeting. Okay, I'll admit this is not who I was expecting to run into. It's, yeah, the chap who runs, like, basically the general goods store. So, all right, this conversation here could be a bit more difficult. So, uh, magic powers. Let's have a chat, Mr. Newell. Okay, so the lad's being a bit cages to yes, whether he's even a herd of Walter Stroud, but what I find very interesting is if I hover over the pay 2,500 credits option, then I can see that he would tell me that I have to go back to Sleep Crate 1. Does that mean, like, my character genuinely knows that information now without ever bothering to, like, either persuade or pay him? Because, okay, I mean, I now know the location, thanks to my magic powers. Okay, I may be onto something here, because yes, I've been looking around all the sleep crate doors. The vast majority of them, they need like, you know, specific keys in order to open. But this one, that I found over here, just down the road from, yes, what is it, Euphorica? It doesn't. This one could just be opened up anyway, so okay, just Sam... You just shield me from those people over there for a second. Right, just crack you open. Sam, I will get to you later, okay? We are busy doing exciting, sexy sequence breaking right now, so... Okay. We've got computers. We've got Gal Bank statements. Please be advised your current pace cycle will once again leave you with a near zero balance in your accounts. Crack you open as well, buddy, and oh, this looks promising. An aerospace company or something. Musgrove, you may not be aware there's a certain item your employer has that others have taken an interest in. I know you're gainfully employed. What's the harm in a chat? Besides, I have some information about your career that, well, I would want to know if I were you. Okay, either I've stumbled across what I'm looking for, or alternatively, I've just found something equally interesting. Keep on keeping on. I'm not joking. Expect that termination notice to arrive soon. You need to think about your future and the precious few days you have left before they deactivate your security clearance. So, right. Musgrove worked somewhere, presumably, what is it, Slayton Aerospace. Slayton Aerospace, meanwhile, they were the ones with the artifact. Whoever the friend is, they wanted to make sure that Musgrove got the artifact out first. And finally... Oh, flip me, that actually worked. I used my magic powers to know what was hidden behind a bribe. Holy flip me, that's some cool space magic. The question is, are we going to be meeting, yeah, Musgrove or a friend? Because if it's Musgrove, right, we've now got good leverage. And on top of that, we know the lad is almost broke. We can probably argue him down pretty aggressively. I've uh, got some stuff on my mind. Okay, fine. We will do this conversation, Sam. If it will make you stop saying, hey, I need to talk, every no, cocking time we go through an elevator. I don't got many friends, so I figure I got to level with you. My past keeps showing up. I should get ahead of it before I get behind it. <sighs> Hell, this is tougher than I thought it was going to be. Sam, are you trying to tell me in the most long-winded way possible that you'd like us to go visit your sort of ex-wife? Because if so, just pop it on the map. I will get to it at some point in the next two months. You know, when I turned 18, my dad used one of his many connections to get me my first real job. That, plus the magical co-family name, meant I was shipping freight out of Aquila. If there is a way to take the wonder out of space, it was working for that outfit. Every milligram of helium-3 accounted for. Timetables down to the second. Too busy to ever really appreciate anything. Or even look up. <sighs> okay. This is not where I was expecting this to go. He's gone into, yeah, like, you know, a, a job he had when he was a kid or something. So, an opportunity comes by from the boss man. He says, run this job, don't ask questions, and there's a bonus. Hell, I was still just a kid. 
I jumped on it. I knew I wasn't shipping some dried mangoes, but suddenly, God help me, it was fun. Sam, you helped me to set up my Aurora business a few months ago. I am not judging you for this. This is fine. More jobs started coming, and everywhere I went, suddenly dangerous people were much better armed. I'd hear about armed conflicts and civilian casualties. Innocent casualties. And I'd pretend that wasn't me. Maybe I wasn't smuggling weapons, maybe I was carrying something else. As long as I never open the boxes, I can keep pretending. Soon the boss man's relying on me, and the pay was nice. We also started partying a lot together. Hard. There are whole weeks that are blank. Never had a lick of trouble. <sighs> Till I did. Okay, we did hear from him previously. Yes, he knew about Neon. In fact, he'd partied here before, and uh, I'm guessing this is when. To this day, I don't know when I was running that last job. But it was tasty enough, a whole mess of Crimson Fleet jumped me at the rendezvous. Yeah, a sane man would have been scared. But I looked at my pissant trading skiffs, dual cannons, and shouted, Oh, this is on! Yeah, I blew up one of the pirates before they realized that I was out of my gourd. I managed to get them down to two left before every system I had was fried. I was done. And that should have been the end. But that's when the rangers showed up. And then... Dependable and straight as an arrow. Lillian Hart came on the calm, and well... It's like hearing the voice of an angel. The rangers took them out, no problem. All that's fuzzy, though. See, I passed out. And when I came to, Lillian was there. Seems the rangers were... <laughs> impressed with me. Offered me a job. Yeah, by all rights, it should have been a prison cell, but... Lillian, she saw something in me, and I took the job, and that's it. All my cards are on the table. Okay, so that's how you met Lillian back in the day. I will admit, that's more of a dodgy backstory than I was expecting. I'm impressed, Sam. But yes, just to confirm, I'm assuming they searched your ship and knew you were a smuggler. Officially, my cargo was destroyed by the fleet. Unofficially? Hell yes, she knew. She jettisoned it herself. I don't know why she did it, but she stuck her neck out for me. And after she helped me sober up and put the mess I was back together. Okay, she didn't just know what she covered for you, though. I mean, I'm good to be honest, your previous life does sound kind of awesome, Sam. But the thing that scares me is Cora. I mean, I gotta tell her someday. Sometimes the way she looks at me, I'm not worthy of that. But to see that look gone... <sighs> okay, like, when she's way, way older, and you can properly contextualize it, and she's got a bit of life experience herself, so... You know what, we can just duck this difficult question by simply flirting with him in his lovely, lovely hat, because... Uh, that's true. If eventually we have sex with Sam, he'll have to take off his hat to do it, well probably anyway. And then, while he's asleep, I can steal the hat and run, okay? Now that's a plan. That means a great deal to me. Just so you know, all this, this is why Lillian is something else. I know, I know, more Sam Co and his complications, as you put it. Well... For now, let's do something more cheery. Like getting a root canal. Okay, so I suspect yes. At some point, we've got to go and meet Lillian, though. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. In a way, it kind of feels like Sam isn't entirely 100% over her. Like, at all, actually. Anyway, Walter, I've got the information we need. I use my magic space powers to do it. Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. So, okay, here we go. Pre-meeting briefing from Walter, but once we get into the negotiation itself, oh, this magic space power is going to be invaluable. All right, we're here. Now, I don't know what the seller looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them. Larger than normal. 
big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Okay, Ramsey and Travers, and uh, apparently they're the scientists who discovered neon gas. So, uh, right, let's go find ourselves a yes, a briefcase, and we know roughly how big the artifacts are, so uh, shouldn't be too difficult to do. Oh, never mind, we know precisely who we're dealing with, because... Uh, Mr. Musgrove. I remember your name uh, from the terminal. So, uh, right. We've got our person. So, before we speak to you, activate my powers and... Uh, okay, Musgrove. Uh, let's have a very unfair conversation where I literally know what you're about to say. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? And here we go. We can say yes, the wrong thing, etc, etc. But... Ramsey and Travers, in case you forget the password, I now know what to say because I know what gets the right reaction. So, okay. Meeting a fancy VIP lounges, etc, etc. Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Alright, so we've got him. He's gonna be moving in the right direction, so... Oh, buddy, I'm about to take you to the Culking Cleaners. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands. And we're not dead. How does that sound? Okay, honestly sounds, yeah, pretty simple, but... In theory, yes, given it's stolen, the original owners could show up and intervene if they're actually tracking him. That's why you're here. Hopefully our combined countenance will be enough, but grabbing the artifact and running is an option. Uh, just do me a favor and treat it as a last resort. I have a reputation. Okay, so a smash and grab is an option, but he'd prefer me not to do it. Gotcha. Nice and neat and easy is preferred. Alright, so we're not actually going into, yes, the uh, VIP sections. Instead, uh, the room we already set up. So, uh, okay. Kind of but notice that, um, uh, yes, we've got ourselves a Walter. Got ourselves a Musgrove. Uh, I thought I saw someone else over here, but no, as it turns out, not. So, uh, Oh, buddy. I'm so sorry about this, but you're negotiating with the Space Dragonborn today. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. Okay, and... Uh... Right, I'll sit. No sense of making anyone uncomfortable. Right, I'm now making tactical choices, but I now know how he's going to react. So, I mean, it feels like, yeah, standing would be the intimidation move, but I'm not sure whether he, like, you know, uh, finds that intimidating. Alternatively, uh, okay, that one feels less significant. So, uh, I'm just going to stand, just in case someone runs in with a gun. Flexing the muscles already, huh? Fine. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? So, okay, we knew precisely he was going to do this. We could just, wow, grab the artifact and start running. Hilarious. Well, we know security's on our side. So we could just do it. Okay, so actions, I don't know what's going to happen. But, be reasonable, we can't just double it out of nowhere. Not my problem. Okay, how'd you know that? Who talked? Okay, when he says who talked, he's getting nervous. And I want him to be nervous. So, yes, indeed. Stop bluffing, buddy. Oh, really? And how do you know that? Who talked? 
Does it matter? We know you're in a fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed-upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just set on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. I've decided now's the time to trigger the damn door to close. What the? Security! And, oh. Okay. He's now started to call for security, but I've bribed security. So as a result of that, they're not getting involved, buddy. Meanwhile, if I just say, oh, future and clear. I'm going to say security is yap on side and they ain't doing a thing to intervene. As you can see, we're in control. Take advantage of our generosity. Take the money. All right. Okay. It's all yours. Hope I never see any of you people ever again. Oh, Flippy K, now that went pretty smooth, well, I'd say. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home, shall we? We have it. This couldn't have gone better. I'm delighted with how that went. No violence, no shooting, no anything. This guy gets paid, but I can no more than we agreed, so I've just saved Walter some money. Issa will be absolutely thrilled, so... Okay, that was cool. And my magic space power was brilliant as well. Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. Oh. Got a bit of an issue here, which is, as I was half expecting, Slayton shown up to reclaim his goods. But, okay. We could persuade, or we could just say, hey, security, I've paid you off, you're on our side. Take out this loser who's causing trouble for us. That way, it's all nice and legit. There a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Sending on men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. Alright, but the point is, that situation's been dealt with and I've not fired a gun yet. Which Walter was saying was precisely what he wanted, so... Uh, okay, this is a cool mission, especially with my particular set of dragon shouts. Okay, and one surprise on the way out. It's my good friend Issa. She's shown up again, okay. Just in case something bad goes down and reactivating my magic powers. Hello, Issa. Issa. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. Okay, so we can't take off. What precisely are we going to do now? And by the sounds of it, yes, plan A would be uh, go and speak to the chap himself. Because, uh, yes, you can just slip him some money. I've just cocked and saved you some. Get him off our backs that way. Just literally go uh, straight to their headquarters uh, right now. It's probably in the same tower as your office. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Okay, we've got one more negotiation to do before we can leave. Just remember, the key thing Walter wants is uh, no violence. If we can sort this out by, you know, just tossing some money at them, that's the option he'd prefer. Ooh, we've got um slight issue here, mind, which is... I feel like there might be about to be, you know, trouble, so... Hey, buddy. I mean, you like... Okay. Because I'm concerned that... Oh, blimey. Okay, there's angry people. But they're not actually attacking me yet. But it feels like they're very close to doing so. This is cool. So, uh, right. We've got, you know, security people. We've got a receptionist. We've also got the emergency alarm button. 
feels to me like, yeah, so maybe they've partly uh, locked anything. down the building. I've been waiting all day. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is awesome. I like this. We need to get up to here, apparently. That elevator. Ah, and we can't just rush the floor. We need an access code to do it. So, okay. Options. We can start, yes, cracking open doors, etc., etc. There is a nice gate control here. What precisely just opened? Okay. The gate right there. When you say gate, you mean literally security gate. Also, there was a guy here. Does anyone know what happened to that guy? I have no idea what happened to that guy. So, okay. You buddy, just a mosey in that direction. Mosey back around here. And... Uh, hello there, elevator control terminal that I can access because I've got advanced security. Just crack you open nice and quick. And... Uh, okay, let's just start... Uh, override the elevator could get straight up to executive beautiful and security hacking a walter let's just get straight back out of here and now we're allowed to be here in we go let's go and have a lovely chat to mr watts's face wait this clearly isn't the executive level he's on to us walter uh, taking what's mine then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily countered. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? Hang on, what about Yas? The whole, you know... Speaking to Slayton thing. Slayton will be scrambling his own security teams once he gets wind that we're no longer at his mercy. Our time is limited. Okay, so just follow what Issa says. Don't start shooting. I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employers are all over. You're still, uh, human, right? You want to use the fence system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Alright, in we go. I do have my space magic powers to avoid trouble. Good, 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 good. So, okay. Follow the vent. Stay down. Stay hidden. Stay quiet. And do what Issa says. That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. All right, straight to the end. Just continuing to follow instructions, damn it. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end as the fork. Okay, drop down and then a follow all the way to the end. Gotcha, just keep an eye on, you know, local trouble. Don't cut the wall if we don't have to. They did specifically say keep going. There's a vent above you. Just climb up. Alright, up in that case. The room below you is clear. Drop down. Okay. Back down again. Stop. One of the doors leads you right into the open. I'm unlocking a safe route. Opening the door on your right. Go now. Alright. Yeah. And left. But don't go through the door at the end yet. There's a robot stalking the hole. Wait. It's walking down the hole. I can't see it with my space power. Go now, straight across to the door. Okay. Straight over. Through the door. Lovely. Keep going all the way to the end. Okay. Now this is cocky cool. I like this mission. This is a good mission though, John. Don't run. You might be heard. Stay sneaky. Stay magic. There's the door. It should take you outside. Outside? You expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Well, I guess after you. I like Issa. Issa's great. Right. Outside, we're now going to be climbing up the tower on the exterior. This is... Oh, this is damn good stuff. Okay. 
This is all absolutely fine. I've literally got a jetpack and whatnot. So, uh-oh. John, don't blow it now. Okay, you were doing really well. In fact, yeah, there's a lot of cocking security in that direction. So, uh, in theory, if I had the right boost pack, could I actually get all the way up to the top maybe this way? Like, say, with a power boost pack or something. I mean, bare minimum, if we just go round in this direction, there is a nice little post here. I think I can work my way up to the top from this location without even going into where the security is. Okay. You can pretty easily get up to uh, yeah, the top floor. Go in this way. Is, uh, else. And by the looks of it, they're not too suspicious yet. So, okay. This is, this is good. This is looking real good. I'll say that. The problem we've got now is uh, these losers. How precisely are we going to get past you? Because the door is just around the corner. Okay. We are now there. And walking away. If we can just... Oh, if we can just get up top. Without it being too much of an issue. Yeah, hidden. And then just drop down. And in. Sue Tony Silent Assassin. Oh, and I see our chappy, though, right. He is not alone in his office. He's got guards with him. All right. Activate my ability to, you know, do all of this good stuff. Let's go have a chat, buddy. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> You're not wrong, buddy. This has been a great fun mission. So, uh, okay. Just release my ship and, uh, okay. He basically wouldn't make too many moves based on that. He's happy for violence. He's got guards with him. Right. Call off the guards. Let's do a deal, buddy. You're a businessman. I've got Walter with me. I've taken commerce. We can make this work. You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. Okay, so... Yes... Business people, we can make an arrangement here. I know for a fact that's what Walter wants, and, uh, okay. Mercenaries haven't stopped us so far. In fact, honestly, we've not even taken them on yet, but, okay. That feels positive uh, right there. Let you know, have a nice chat about how we're going to resolve this nice and easy. You literally, so like, you know, ship parts. This guy is a shipbuilder. There's a good deal to be done. I do admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes, I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. Okay, so... right. The lad's basically just a chancer. He was not particularly a skilled negotiator. So, uh, you want him dead? I yield to your judgment. Interesting. He's a thief. I let the authorities deal with it. If that's your decision, you don't need to tell him yourself. Then we will handle the rest. Alternatively, okay. Decide, as in we could let him go. Okay. I mean, I think he should be allowed to go. Okay, he's been given a good but fair amount of money. Let him go if need be. 
if you wish, you will have the opportunity to tell him yourself shortly. If you got a bad guy, even a little bitty bad guy, usually you bring them in. Your call, though. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. I have an opportunity to spare a man's life. I know he probably wouldn't do the same for us, but that shouldn't matter. Okay, Walter would spare him, Sam wants him brought in, and uh, he sold us the artifact for a fair price, so... Oh. He's not looking so hot, to be honest. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humour. Okay, I do not have any grudge against you, buddy. Let's get you patched up and on your way. So, yes indeed. First up, give me the full story. What precisely was going on beyond just you needed money and you'd been let go by the company? Ten years working in aerospace engineering and they laid me off. You damn right I stole that thing. They tell you if you have talent and commitment, you can go far. But the truth is it's all about who steals the most and gets away with it. You know what? On Neon, I believe you. So uh, I get to decide your fate, buddy. Please. I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all. Even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. I completely agree. Like, had this guy ripped me off, I'd be feeling a bit more, you know, shooty right now. But me and you, we did a fair deal. I... Thank you. You just won the lottery, pal. Don't waste it. A rare moment of compassion for this city. Very well. I'll clear things up with the authorities. You're free to go. Time to go. Let's talk more back at the ship. So, all right, job complete, and on top of that... Would you object to me, like, you know, taking this, um, legendary bridge up? Okay, it's just a present on the way out, meaning I get, yeah, say, ooh, a bridge that's good against robots, and also a bit of extra. Hang on, what's it, man, again? Bonus damage while aiming. I mean, honestly, a bonus 15% damage is not bad. Okay, in which case, back to the ship, and... Uh, Walter has got to be delighted with me. All right, that entire mission, not one person dead. In, out, and it didn't even cost him that much. A deal with a man who wanted us dead. I guess we can call that a win. What do you think? All right, so, yes, indeed, we got the artifact. Literally nobody died. I'm going to call this a huge win, Walter. I agree. This life suits both of us, don't you think? All in all... A great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. Oh, Walter, me and you can be friends, and uh, bloody hell, he just gave me a giant pile of money, presumably the money I just saved him, and a new gun too. The Fiscal Quarter, but yes, it is an automatic rifle, so it's not really my cup of tea. I just came to do some work on, um, you know, my new bridger. And I realised, um, okay. We don't actually have, like, you know, workbenches on this ship. Okay, so we need to make some, uh, amendments to the ship layout and whatnot. Got it. You hold something you have no right to. My people have killed for this. But I will offer you one chance to hand over the artifact and turn away from this path. That's not any type of ship I recognize. Okay, um, please identify mysterious ship. The fact that you do not know says much. We are the Starborn, and you are unworthy to possess the artifacts. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge or drown in it. Okay, this guy sounds like, you know, 
a robot. Possibly the mysterious alien precursor race, a robot. Got it. So, okay, just give me some basic information to work with here, Mr. Starborn. The more you understand, the more damage you will do. How could just knowing what you are be dangerous? Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. The energy output from that ship is far above the normal rate. If we spin up the grav drive now, we have a chance. Okay, so, right. Do not fight. Cocking run. Got it. We'll get through this. Hold on. And yes, we just need to. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Need to do, need to put, put, put all the things into the yep, into the, into the. No, not the shields. We can turn, turn, turn everything off. All that, John. Set a destination. Set a destination. We're not fighting. We're not fighting this thing. Cocking run. I agree. Good idea. Let's just you know, cocky go fast as you like. Back to Jemison. All the power to shielding, grav drives, and my new grav drive does the job. Oh, and there we flipping go. Precisely as I expected, completing that mission has straight away triggered Vladimir to locate another temple. That's how you get more powers. And by the sounds of it, we've jumped straight into the next big thing. So yes, we've now run into the Starborn... And I'm guessing we need to figure out, yes, how precisely we're going to learn about them. So, okay, how about we call it apart there? Because next time, right, we're getting a new magic power. We're figuring out what a Starborn is. And uh, maybe, just maybe, I'll turn my attention to a new faction quest. We shall flipping see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Starfield. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah. We have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go! Go away! Go away, nobody likes you! That was a good idea till it wasn't.